Hello everyone. Today I have a review of Murder on the Prowl by Rita Mae Brown and Stinky Pie Brown with Cat. And this is the sixth book in the Miss Murphy murder mystery series. I haven't read any of the other ones. I just happened to pick up the sixth book randomly. Um, so this book is centered in a small town in Virginia where our main character Mary Minor Harris Dean, I believe, called Harry throughout the novel, is the postmistress, and she has two cats, Miss, Mrs. Murphy and Peter, and a dog named, a little corgi named Tucker, and basically in this particular book, there's these like weird killings that have kind of started going on in the town. Basically, there were these um, fake obituaries were put in the newspaper where the people were actually alive, but everyone freaked out for a second. Um, and so there's about one for the headmaster of the school appears, and then a few days later, one for a really good friend of the headmaster of the school appears. And then a little while after that, one of those men is killed. And then it kind of starts this string of homicides where there's one, and there's another one, and there's like about three, I think, in total in the whole book. And so throughout the novel, they're trying to, Miss Murphy, Mrs. Murphy is kind of trying to figure out what's happening and what's going on, as well as Harry is also trying to figure out and happening, what's happening and going on. And that's sort of the plot of the story. Um, I think most of the books are fairly similar in that respect, where there's usually some kind of crime, and then Harry's trying to solve the mystery as well as, uh, Mrs. Murphy and the other cast of animal characters. So one of the things I liked about this book was I really liked the animal characters. I liked the inclusion of them. I thought it was fun and original. And I thought that uh, Rita Mae Brown does a nice job of remembering that they are animals. And so throughout the novels, they have to come up with a bunch of different ways to alert the humans to sort of like the findings that they get because, you know, they can go places that humans can't go kind of a thing. I also really enjoyed all the other characters in the novel. You don't spend the entire book just kind of focusing on Harry. You focus on some of the other characters in the book as well as just in the town generally. And I liked all of their uh, personalities and I thought they were fun to read about. Even though I had a really hard time keeping track of all of the different characters, um, there's conveniently right at the beginning of the book like a character uh, cheat sheet so they tell you know who everyone is throughout the book, but I felt really, like, I had to reference this all the time, and I felt like that sort of weakened the novel for me a little bit. I feel like you should be able to introduce your characters and, like, keep track of them, and I shouldn't have to keep referencing this list at the beginning. Um, but it was nice that it was there and it was handy. And I think that, I think part of that was because I haven't read a lot of the other books in the series, so I think most of these characters kind of carry over from book to book, so I probably would have known them had I read some of the other novels. I also really liked just the kind of the feel of the novel. It had a nice feel to it. It felt like a small town. It felt really interesting. I think the book was came out in like 1998, so there's some stuff in there that you're just like, this would have been solved had there been t cell phones and other modern technology. So yeah, I gave Murder on the Prowl, I believe, a 4 out of 5 on Goodreads. Um, I had a nice time. It was a fun little light kind of read, and it was quick, and the mystery was interesting for the most part. Um, it wasn't like super obvious where it was going to go, and I guess that was sort of something I had an issue with as well, is that the end of the book... It kind of just felt like the wrap-up happened in, like, three pages, and suddenly they were down from the whole town being a suspect to, like, two people, and then you find out who did it, and then they you sort of get their motivation, and it just was, like, a weird... It was just a little too quick for me. I wish they had kind of done a little bit more of the, like, explaining what had happened and why it was done and that sort of thing. Four to five, good read, fun read. I think I'm going to probably check out some of the other books in the series. I think there's like 22 books and I think she's still writing them. So, you know, there's a lot to read from. Um, you don't, you totally could start on the sixth book, by the way. You don't have to start necessarily at number one. I probably would if you were just picking it up from the get-go. But because she does a nice job of explaining um, sort of other, the character connections through each book, I guess you kind of might get minor spoilers if you read a book that came before, like, the first one. Like, I think some of the characters, like, get divorced, for example, and they probably are married in earlier books. But, you know, I think that's kind of a minor thing in the grand scheme of book reading. I did also did a review of this book over on Goodreads um, right after I read it, so there might be a little more detail that I missed out on here. And I do try to tend to review pretty much every book that I read, and I don't always make videos of the reviews, so if you ever, you know, if you see something in one of my wrap-ups or whatever and you want to see what I thought of it. Typically, I do have reviews of it on Goodreads, so you can go check my profile page, which is always linked down below in the description of my videos. I also recently um, updated and put together my, like, want-to-read shelf, so if you're ever curious what books I'm sort of interested in looking at and checking out and reading, I do keep that fairly up-to-date now, um, and I'm going to try to, like, keep it up-to-date. The, the list organization, you know, has, like, one to whatever. It's totally not accurate, but if you are curious about other books I'm interested in reading, they're all there. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you're doing great, and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!